Hey, welcome back to JGE3 Reviews. My name is James. Here we explore the world, or maybe today I should say the galaxy of fountain pens, ink, paper. And today it is a galaxy fountain pen. This in gorgeous galaxy blue is the Pen BBS 495, and it is a fantastic pen. And if that seems like a spoiler, I'm going to give you another one here in just a second. First, Pen BBS is a company established by fountain pen enthusiasts who wanted to see new and creative fountain pens, and they do it, and they knock it out of the park quite often. And I think this is one of those out of the park pens. So they've been listening to the fountain pen community. They've been listening and looking and, and experimenting and they've come up with this. So we're gonna take a closer look at this pen, but sharp eyes are noticing there's not one pen BBS box back here. There are two. Why are there two? There are two because James is giving away a fountain pen. This is this 495 fountain pen in the demonstrator version. We'll take a closer look at it in a second. And when you're done drooling, you can enter the contest to win this pen. Rules will be in the description below, but I, I couldn't even wait to the end of the video. Just look at that thing. It is a great looking demonstrator pen if you like that sort of thing. And it's a good one. You're gonna wanna sign up. But hey, that's enough yip yap. Let's spin that camera and take a look at this pen. And when your Pen BBS 495 arrives, it comes in their standard box, which I think is quite nice, makes a good impression if you're giving this box as a gift. A little magnetic flap there, and then utter simplicity. You open it up, and first you have your instructions, which come in Chinese and in English, so that you can know how to operate your new piston filling fountain pen. Always nice to see that included, and I think they do a nice, simple job of that. Then returning to the box, we get that very well-protected pin. Now there's nothing else in the box. We can set that aside because this is a piston filler. There are no cartridges or converters or anything like that involved. Now, since demonstrators exist to demonstrate the pin, we're gonna look at this one for today's review and then we'll write with my Galaxy. So, I think the first thing that jumps out is that matte red finished piston mechanism. Now this is a new improved mechanism from Pen BBS. It came out when they released the Year of the Tiger pen, a pen that I think has a really striking and definitely original Chinese design, pays homage to their culture and to different architectural elements in historical buildings and temples, and I think that it is a really interesting pen. But I also think it has an excellent piston mechanism. I have really enjoyed this pen far more than I expected to, and the ease of use of that piston filling mechanism is one of the reasons. Now this pen builds on uh, a piston filler that they've had for quite a while, which is the Model 309. And this model gets a lot of criticisms, and mainly that comes because when you turn the knob, sometimes, now mine's going to move here on camera for you, uh, but sometimes it sticks right here. And I really haven't had a big problem with that, but it has happened once or twice. And since I know it, whenever I go to turn this knob, when it's all the way tightened down, when I first start to use the pen, I kind of give a bit of forward pressure just to make sure that it knows I intend for that piston to go that direction. And uh, that's pretty much solved the problem. You do have to keep these really well serviced with silicone grease, but even then, you might have an issue. I have a Wingsung 618 that has done that just once or twice as well. Uh, and it's if you know, it's okay, but if you don't know, well, then it, it's very frustrating and uh, you can make a mess, of course. But this pen gets rid of that problem altogether. The new mechanism works very, very well, so that when you turn it, it just goes right on down like it should, goes all the way down so that you get a tremendous ink capacity, which I really like, and then very smoothly, and there is, let me tell you, there is a difference in turning this knob and the smoothness of the action than with this pen. Maybe if it wasn't back to back, I wouldn't have noticed, but there's definitely more resistance. My guess is that the tolerance there, in order to keep it from leaking and everything, was just a little bit too tight. 
this runs so smoothly and just works really well. Comes all the way back. And I have to say, on both of these pins, that has been my experience. They come all the way back. Not all pins do. And when you put them back together, uh, my Twisby Eco, for example, uh, I can have a difficult time, you know, holding my tongue just right in my mouth so that I, I can put this back on and the piston isn't too far down or too far up and this comes back down flush where it belongs. It, it takes a little bit of practice. But with both of these pin BBS models and actually all three, uh, this is just not an issue. So that speeds up your cleaning time, lessens your frustration, and of course, maximizes your ink capacity. So that is all a good thing. All right, let's go over the design. First, you notice this has a bit of a top hat up there, doesn't it? It is just a big hunk of acrylic that's turned with kind of a, it's like a top hat flare. And I will say that I really like it in this acrylic. Then you come down to that cap and it's that familiar, I'm gonna say sword blade clip. That works well, good springiness, no issues there. Then you come to the chrome trim ring, which says pin BBS has the little Lotus logo and 495. I appreciate whenever a pin maker puts the model number on the back of the cap on the trim ring. It's just so much easier for me to know what I'm what I'm looking at. All right, then you come on down and of course that barrel is fairly straight. It does have just the slightest of taper and then you come to the next chrome trim ring and of course that piston knob. Now, I will say that on the demonstrator this red finish on that looks really good, and uh, I like it. I just think it highlights everything that's going on in this pen and looks really good. Now, in my Galaxy, you really can't tell it all. Now, that's the downside of this Galaxy finish, of course, is I have no idea how much ink is left in the pen, but if you don't like that red piston, then it doesn't matter. It's just not even visible and uh, frankly I think that galaxy looks fantastic and even though it's not that big hunk of clear acrylic I think even the little top hat there looks quite good that is just a striking pen and I really like it but back to the demonstrator I'm a big fan of demonstrators too and if you win this pen this is a great pen to go and pen able somebody show them how it works show them a colorful ink in that barrel and then they'll kind of get why you like these fountain pens, all right? So very simple design. It is not certainly uh, reminiscent to me of anything else, and Pen BBS is good about that with a lot of their pens, and I do like that about their company. Now, let's count turns right quick. We get one, just less than two. I'm gonna say one and three quarters-ish ish and uh, that comes off very easily it does by the way post very easily very securely and I think is really well balanced I've been writing with that galaxy pen a lot doesn't bother me at all when it's posted it is perfectly good as an unposted pen so I think someone with larger hands is going to like this pen it's going to be a very comfortable pen for you to write with. I just, I like the ergonomics. The grip section is nice and long, giving you an easy way to find, you know, where do you want to hold that? It has a good stop to keep you from going too far. And the threads here are done well enough. They're not bothersome. And that step down is not too bad at all either. So the pen feels really good in hand. And looking at the nib, we find that this is a medium nib. You can see that they have their medium flourish on this nib, and I really like their medium nibs. Now, whoever wins this pen, by the way, I will say that if you don't want the medium nib and you would instead like a fine, I have an unused Pen BBS fine nib unit that I would be glad to swap out for whoever wins that. You pick. You can't go wrong with either one as far as I'm concerned. But if you like a wetter nib, you'll want to stick with this medium. It is a number six nib, and these come as a nib unit, and you can buy them from Pen BBS separately, and they are at a reasonable price. A standard nib, fine, medium, uh, those nibs are usually around six, seven dollars or so, depending on where you live in your market. That's U.S. dollars. I recommend having one or two on hand just because, because it really is a great deal. And then you can get specialty nibs. Now, those are going to be at a higher price, but there are those that are used for Chinese calligraphy that you can buy and different things, and they are excellent as well, and there's a wide variety. And there are also even gold nib units. The nice thing is, 
you can easily swap it out. And how do you do that, James? Well, this unscrews very simply as a unit. And when it does, you can just swap in your new Pin BBS unit. By the way, Pin BBS also sells parts, and you can get a little parts kit, and you should do that. It comes with the outer part of the nib unit, it comes with their standard feed, and with replacement O rings, converter, stuff like that. So, really, a bargain parts bag to buy. Put that on your list. So, if you wanted to swap this out with a non pin BBS nib, what would you do? Well, a Yovo nib will fit in this pin. Make sure you use the original pin BBS feed or one from that replacement parts bag, and then, of course, it will actually fit in there. And when you do, be sure to inspect your O rings. This one, for example, has slid down the unit as I took it off and make sure that those are in good nick as well and then you screw that back on and voila you're good to go. While I have this pin opened up let's talk about cleaning the pin. Well first the grip section unscrews. That's very easy to do. You lay that aside you flush that out and then you want to clean the inside of the pin. How do you do that? Well a quick and dirty cleaning would be is that that doesn't even make sense does it? That's kind of an oxymoronic thing to say but that would be to flush this pin out just as it is and many times if you're just wanting to do a quick clean out you can do that and that's fine. When you do be sure and and put some silicone grease in there maybe with a q-tip or something just very lightly so that that piston uh, get some renewed silicone, and then you, you might be done. But if you want to do a more thorough cleaning, then what you do is untwist that cap. That's going to then detach from the piston, and you can remove that piston and clean out your pin. They do not recommend removing this part of the piston unit at all. Leave that there. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Just clean the inside of your pin, and then you'll put that piston back in, and you may need something to push it forward because, for example, fingers too big. You'll push that in, tighten this down. When that re-engages, it will align back properly. And as I said, that for me, that aligning back properly is a game changer among piston fillers because a lot of pins just don't do that or do it well. All right, for our size comparison today, there are no slouches. Every one of these pins would be on a top list if I were putting it out. These are excellent pins, every single one, and they are all piston fillers. We start at the top with the Leonardo. Beautiful pin and a piston filler with a good capacity and a nice ink window. I'll review that pin sometime soon here. Then, of course, we had the Pin BBS 495, another gorgeous pin. This Twisby Eco, which I think many of you have one of these in your collection and is an excellent piston filling pin. I've just been going through a whole big clean out of pins, so that pin is empty, but it won't be for long. And then the Pilot Custom Heritage 92, another pin I need to review, and an excellent piston filler pin. Every one of these, I think, worthy for your consideration and quite the budget gap here between these pins as well. What might surprise you is which of these pins uh, is the cheapest. Now, two of them are not even contenders, but you might assume that the Twisby is the cheapest. That actually depends on when you buy your pin. When I bought my 495, it actually was about the same price as the Twisby Eco. And depending on retailer, you know, it might it neck and neck. You might pay more for one or more for the other. This has since gone up like everything in the world, except for eggs. I finally bought cheap eggs yesterday. So right now, the Twisby is cheaper, but not by much. And it depends on the day and it depends on the color. I think you can get this in Hawaii, still cheaper than a Twisby Eco. I think you can get it in a demonstrator, clear or another color for about the same. And that makes it very competitive. As you can see, it is the second largest pin here, longer by a good bit than the Eco or that Pilot Custom Heritage 92, but certainly a much smaller pin than the MZG2. All right, looking at the pins unposted, the length is not that different between the Leonardo 
and the pin BBS. I think that stub nib exaggerates it visually just a little bit in the point at the end. Uh, the Twisby, really, not much length difference there either. So those are all about the same in length. And then, of course, the Pilot comes in as the shorty of the bunch. And here we have the pins in their posted length. Even more dramatic here with the Pilot being definitely the shortest of the bunch. All right, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to see this pin right. It is the pin BBS. It is still the 495. And this one is a fine number six pin. And it is a fine. You will notice that this looks like it's writing more like a, maybe a fine to medium or definitely at least a Western fine. And um, this particular nib I have found just writes a little bit broader than my past pin BBS fines. You will notice this is the fine that they make that has the slight upturn and uh, provides a little bit of variation as you tilt the nib at different angles. Not a lot, but just a little bit. Wetness is not bad at all for a fine. Sometimes pin BBS fine nibs run on the dry side, and so you tune just a little bit, but that's, that's not bad at all. I'm just going to leave it as it is. I like it. Ink Today is also a Pin BBS product. It is number 223, which is Chongqing City Blue. And it is a really nice ink with some really good shading. I've reviewed this ink before, so I'll put a link to that in case you want to check it out. It's a nice ink. The pen writes really nice and smoothly. You could probably hear just a little bit of audible, I would say soft pencil-like feedback. Not any drag or anything like that. No toothiness at all. Just a nice, smooth, uh, minimal feedback nib. I really like it. It is a stiff nib. You're not going to get variation. Let's do a few lines here just so you can see what it does. That's no pressure whatsoever, really, just normal writing. This is slight, very light, slight pressure, very light, slight pressure. As you can see, it really that made no difference. So consider it a hard as a nail uh, nib, and I think that you'll be pleased with it as that. Now let's do a little bit of speed writing with the Fast Speed Ink Test Scribble here. Doing this in real time. I think it's funny when people do fast writing and speed it up. Ah, excellent. So, uh, as you could see, the only skip, I know this is me, and I know this is me. Uh, this, I don't know, but actually, I don't. you probably can't make it out, but it never stopped writing. There's actually ink all across that line, just very, very thin. Uh, just do it again, just, I lifted there, I felt that. Yeah, I think all the mistakes are me. You know, I've had people tell me that in life. How about a great dad joke today? <laughs> Wah, wah, wah. Well, okay, anyway, what do I think about this pen? I think it's fantastic. And so, would I check out the Pen BBS 495? Yeah, if you're looking for a good piston filler with a quality piston filling mechanism and really nice acrylic, whether it be this Galaxy or this clear version, I don't think you can go wrong. The demonstrator, I, I like these pens equally. I think it's fantastic and just a cool way to see what's going on and showing off an ink. So if you're interested in one of those pens, check them out. There'll be a link below. And then of course, you're gonna wanna try and sign up to win this cool little pen. And to do that, you need to comment and subscribe to this channel. And then a winner will be chosen at random according to the rules in the description below. In the meantime, God bless you. 
Have a great week, and I'll see you in the next review.